Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I thought it would be super fun if I started reviewing some games for you guys. Now these can be board games, they can be card games. I'm not really sure if I'll get into like the video games section, but I might. I have played quite a few video games in my lifetime. But today we're going to be looking at this card game. It is called Pirate Loot. I will do a close up of it. Do not worry. Uh, so I'm gonna go over the price, like the pros and cons, instructions, how to play. We might even do a little round of play. Do you know what I mean? That tell you the good things, the bad things, if it's worth your money, all that good stuff. So let's just get right into it, guys. First off, the packaging is really good. I think it's nice that it's nice and small. It's really like thick cardboard, so it feels really good to like just play with it, you know what I mean? So it's for ages 14 and up. It takes about an hour to play, and you can play with two to four people, which is nice because in my apartment it is just me and my boyfriend, and it kind of sucks when there's so many games that are like three people and up, right? So for two people, it is still a pretty fun game. We played a couple rounds last night. However, there are some big cons. The first one being the instructions. They are the most useless, just piece of turd I've ever read in my life. They are so confusing. It does not do a good job of like explaining the game. And we feel like it left out lots of parts when we were playing. We're like, well, how do you do this? Like, when do you do that? Like, what's going on? We actually had to look up online how to play, and the creator of the game actually has a video out where they play a round of it. And I mean, maybe he made that because the instructions suck major d Cause they do. So you get two sides filled with cards. They're unevenly filled right now because we obviously played last night. Uh, so I'm just going to plop these out. So these come in a bunch of different like categories. You have cards that say rank on them which are another con because they're pretty much useless unless there's a tie so it just seemed a little bit like unnecessary to have four cards named rank when like me and my boyfriend have like never used them not once. Uh, you get a bunch of loot cards, which are basically just all of the treasure that you can get. And um, underneath what the treasure's name is, it does tell you how much the loot is worth. There's loot 1, loot 2, and loot 3, I believe. I'm not sure if there's more than that. Um, so you get four rank cards. And these are the ones that I was saying that were useless. These basically d divide the uh, pirate factions. So there is a greedy faction, which is the green. There's a lazy faction, which is the yellow. There's a brutal faction, which is the red. And then a clever faction, which is the blue. I just feel like they didn't need to make these four cards. The only time you use them, like I said, is if you come to a draw. And maybe if you play with more people, like, there's more chance of, like, a tie or a draw or whatever. But, um, not a huge fan of those. And then, again, like I said before, you get a huge stack of loot cards. And then you also get ship cards cards. Now I also feel like the ship cards are a little bit like useless because they don't really serve a purpose and it doesn't say anywhere in the instructions that they really serve a purpose. It's basically just a card that can cover your loot so how much treasure you have in the game. Um, so there's the golden sail which is the that's gonna be totally out of focus what am I doing? The golden sail which is yellow, uh, the blue sail or azure Sorry, the Azure Cutlass, which is blue. There's the Emerald Serpent, which is the green ship, and then the Scarlet Shila, Shila, which is the red ship. Clearly pirate names made by a white guy. <laughs> yeah, these cards, again, just didn't really serve a whole lot of purpose in the game, which was a little bit shitty, right? Because pirate ships are awesome, and you want them to, like, you know, maybe certain ships are stronger than others or faster than others or something, but they really, like, they do absolutely nothing. Except hide how much loot you have, so... And then there's these draw cards, that's the biggest stack of cards that you get. And it's basically filled with a bunch of different kind of pirates that you can get. So you can get the Brutal Gunner, 
which at the bottom here it will explain what like special effect he has on the game. So his is select one player that may are Oh, sorry. <laughs> select one player. That player must select one of their cards in play and discard that card. So that's like the special effect that this guy does. And each pirate faction has uh, different pirates. Like he's the brutal gunner, so he's part of the um, brutal pirates. Do you see where I'm going with this? And then there's green pirates that go with like the greedy pirates. So this one is called a greedy lookout. Um, and his special effect is to select one player. Look at that player's loot cards, because then you can get an idea of like how much treasure they have. So yeah, there's just like a bunch of different pirates that you can be. Some of them do nothing. All of the all of the lazy sailors do absolutely nothing. And that's not in the instructions. They have this section that is like, it says draw card effects in detail. So the draw cards are these pirate cards. And like, it's not actually more detail about them. Like literally, this is for uh, Brutal Gunner. You can target your own ship with this card. Like that's not in detail. That doesn't even explain what the card of for Brutal Gunner says. Like they don't even match up. Do you know what I mean? Like that's not even helpful. Like that's just such an odd thing to say. And then none of the sailors are even on here because the sailors don't do anything. But it would have been nice in the instructions had they said something like that. So yeah, but the lazy sailors and like the brutal sailors and the greedy sailors, uh, they don't have like a recruit special effects here. The only thing they say is like, if it doesn't move, pick it up and stab it. Like they just kind of have little sayings at the bottom, they don't actually have a special effect. And then there's also this draw card that says set sail, and when this card is pulled, you only have one turn left to keep going with the game. So now that we've talked about all the different cards that you can get, let's talk about the gameplay because we actually had to look up his video, the person who made this, to understand how it actually plays because the instructions are just very confusing and there's like, depending on what um, pirate cards you play with, like the draw cards, Sometimes you don't ever touch the loot cards, which was super confusing for us So I'm gonna hopefully try and explain that a bit better in this video. If not, I'm sorry. It is very confusing Let's just start with the gameplay now. I'm gonna just start off at, like we were going to play an actual game Okay, so the first thing you would do is stick out the ship cards face down and you guys would pick a ship card So you guys are going to be sorry. I don't have autofocus the blue azure ship and then you would do it for me I'll pick this one I'm gonna be the golden sail ship the other two ships just get put to the side when there's two people there's no real point in doing these rank cards um, you would shuffle them and then lay them down and that tells you how high of rank each pirate faction is so if we did it like the first one I picked was Brutal, so they're going to be the least important, like the least ranked pirate. Then I picked Greedy, they'll be the second lowest rank, Clever, and then Lazy would be the highest ranking pirate. So if it comes down to a tie, and um, <clears throat> I have uh, a bunch of Lazy Pirates, and you have a bunch of Clever Pirates, I'll win because clever pirate or sorry, lazy pirates are worth more than clever pirates, like are ranked higher, if that makes sense. We if you're playing with two people, you don't it really need that at all. So the whole point of the game is to get as much loot or treasure as you can, but like per round, you want the best um, set of pirates. You want the best number of pirates. So for each pirate card, they have these little chuk, 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 chuk um, symbols by them. So this particular card has three of them. So this card would be worth three, or this pirate would be worth three. Whereas this pirate card only has one little symbol here, so he would only be worth one point. Back, back to the start of the gameplay. We both have our ships now, that's all good. Now what you do is you shuffle the loot cards. Sorry, my voice is just like, I don't know if I'm losing my voice, or like, what is going on here? 
So once you give the loot deck a good shuffle, you are going to pull out the, the number of cards you're going to pull out from here is the same as the number of players minus one. So if I'm playing and you're playing, so we only have two players, I'm only going to take one off of this deck and that's going to be your treasure haul. That's going to be the prize for whoever has the most number of pirates this round. And then you just put the loot deck right beside it because there are some cards that allow you to just take treasure right from the loot deck and this is the loot haul. So there's two different loot treasure things going on there. That's not that complicated. Okay, so now you're gonna take all the draw cards. Now here's the like kind of confusing bit too. You only use the number of pirate factions that there are players. So if I'm playing and you're playing, again there's only two players, you'd only use two pirate factions. So remember there are four of them the greedy, the clever, the lazy, and the brutal. So you would have to take two of them out and just play with two sets of cards just so that um, the gameplay works better. Um, so we found that the funnest way to play if there's only two people is to play with the lazy faction and the uh, greedy faction. Because greedy pirates, there are some cards in there where you actually get to just pull from the loot deck, which we just found more fun because it was a quicker way to build our treasure. I'm just gonna go ahead and play with all of them, I think. I know there's only technically two of us playing right now, me and you, so I should take two out, but I'm just gonna pretend like there's four of us here right now, and so I'm gonna use all four pirate things. Now, I've shuffled this already, and once you shuffle it, you're gonna take this set sail card. This is like a in card games when you knock and there's only one round left. However, if you pull this card because of a pirate special effect, like if, it, if one of these cards says pull two cards from the deck and keep one in your hand and throw one away, if you pull this card you get to put it back at the bottom of the deck. You have to actually pull it up on a draw card, just a regular old draw to fill your hand. You can't actually get it from a special effects if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna put it in the bottom half of the deck. You're supposed to like shuffle it in the bottom half of the deck, but honestly I just make sure that there's a lot of cards on the top deck and then a few at the bottom. I don't think it's pertinent that you have to shuffle it so that you have no idea when it's coming. You are going to deal everyone five cards, so I'll do that first. Three, three, four, four, five, five. Okay, I mean I got one extra card that wasn't red. So this game is supposed to start just like um, Cards Against Humanity. Cards Against Humanity, the person who ever pooped last is supposed to go first. For this game, it's whoever was on a boat last, like actual, uh, like you as a physical person who was ever on a boat last. In the instructions, that's kind of like confusing because that's all they say, so it's like, and it tells you that like right after you're supposed to pick your ship, so it's like, what is it who picked their ship last or it's just in real life whichever player has been on a boat last goes first and if not we just like rock paper scissors so the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down a brutal sailor and uh, any kind of sailor just doesn't do anything it's just like a regular card to put down but remember it does have one little element here so that means that this card is worth one point so at the end of the game you want to make sure that you have the highest amount of pirate points so that you can get the um, treasure haul. So now that I've laid one down I'm going to pick another one up so that I always have five in my hand and then you guys would go and let's see you're gonna play the brutal gunner and his special effect is select one player that player must select one of their cards and play and discard that card so you're just gonna lay this down right next to your pirate ship that's all I'm doing my ship is right here and then I'm laying my cards right next to it so now that you've played this card I have to discard this one and it's gonna go in the discard pile right next to the draw deck so these ones these uh they're called recruiter special effects at the bottom here you play them immediately but there are some ongoing effects that uh, you play throughout the entire round so like this one it's called a brutal cabin boy 
Discard this card from play to negate any recruit effect that would cause you to discard any cards. So I'm going to lay this down, but I'm going to lay it higher than I would my other cards so that it, you can always see it every, and everyone can see that it's still in play. Oh, and then you guys are going to pick up because you just laid down a card and then I'm going to pick up. So now I'm just going to lay a bunch of cards out like we had played a few rounds and done all this. So this is just, just pretending we went back and forth for quite a bit so that we actually have cards down. Because the cards are pretty straightforward, like they tell you what to do pretty easily. Say I only had four cards left and I went to draw another card to fill my hand and I went, oh shit, I got the set sale card. That means everyone only gets one turn left. You would get to play and then since I pulled that card, I would get to play one more and then we count up how many pirate points we have. So I have, I've got this guy right here, he's got one, um, I don't even know what they're called, like one little bottle next to his name. This guy's got another one little stack of cash. And then these two also have ones together. So I have four pirate points all together in my in play. And you guys have one point here, one point here, and one point here. So you guys have three points. There are some cards with multiple points. Here we go. Just to show you guys, like this one's a lazy captain and he has one, two, three, four points. So this one card is worth four points. We just both happen to have single digit uh, pirates. So since I got four points and you only got three, I won that round. So I get to take this loot card, I get to look at it. It says dead man chest loot four. So that means that this uh, treasure chest is worth four treasure points. And I'm just going to slide this under my ship card, put it over here. We're going to pull another loot card and put it as the haul. And remember, if you had more players, you would have a bigger haul. If we had three players, there would be two cards in here because the loot haul is the players minus one. So in that case, I would just take one card, whichever one I wanted, and then I would pass the haul to the next person, and they'd be able to pick, and then they'd be able to pick. And then the last person doesn't get a loot haul. Uh, that's kind of how you keep it competitive. Since there's two of us playing um, in this shitty little instruction booklet, it says that there's two people playing, um, how to win is that you get nine loot. So right now because my car says four, I have four loot right now and we would keep playing till one of us had enough loot cards that we have nine, e equal nine or higher. Uh, and if you both end up at the same turn having nine loot or higher, you count how many pirate points you have and whoever has the most pirate points wins that round. And that's when if you both have an equal number of pirate points, that's when you would go to these um, rank cards and you would decide who is the higher ranking or has more pirates in the higher ranking factions. So yeah, it's definitely a little bit confusing, but once you play it for a little bit, it is actually quite fun. The price $30 I think is maybe a little steep. I think it it was $31 plus tax. I think it was $27 for the game. I would say that it is worth more like $20, but you do get a lot of playtime out of it. It is an hour long. Um, so once you do one round and you get a loot card, you deal out five cards again and you do the same thing over until someone has nine loot treasure things. So it depends on the rounds really. Sometimes you can get like four loot cards in a round just because you keep getting greedy pirates who allow you to do special effects like take from the loot deck, this and that. Um, but it, it, it does. It takes quite a while to play which is nice. I don't like when games take like five minutes and then you have to reset up everything and play again. So I did quite like that it took longer especially since two people can play it. That was a nice feature for me. I do wish there were more cards where you could go to the loot deck or like steal other people's loot. Uh, and maybe just because I've only ever played with two people that like I just haven't had enough time to like get all the different cards to be able to do that. Overall I think it's a really good game. Uh, I would purchase it again, but man the instructions are like 
a zero out of 10. I'm not joking. You can buy it and read them for yourselves and see how much sense it makes to you. And again, the creator of the game does have a video on YouTube on how to play it. It's the first one that pops up. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all, guys. Uh, what, I, what would I rank this? I feel like I'd rank it like a 7 out of 10. I think it was a 6.5 on the Google one that I looked. I think I would give it a 7 out of 10. I think the gameplay is really good, and especially when you start like stealing other people's treasure and like stealing other people's cards and stuff, it gets really fun. But uh, yeah, the... Instructions are a huge fail, so that is a downfall, and it is a bit pricey. That is also a downfall, but like the packaging is good. It's really nice and small. You can take it with you a bunch of places, and as long as you have one person who knows how to play it, it's really easy to like catch on. It's just like getting that first few rounds to be like, oh, okay, like this is how it goes. Um, and then the ship cards and the rank cards, I just kind of wish they did more. They just don't really do anything for the game like the ship is like just there for you to put your treasure under it doesn't really mean anything other than that so that's kind of lame um but yeah overall i think i would give this game like a 7 out of 10 i quite enjoy it when i play it it's easy to store it's a good idea who doesn't love pirates especially since the new movie is coming out i just thought i would start doing some like trying out some different kinds of videos just to see what you guys respond to what you don't i thought this would be kind of useful especially for summer coming up and like people going camping and stuff it is nice to get a few new games other than like the typical like scrabble and monopoly and life like those ones are always fun obviously but it is nice to get like some other ones that like, you may not have heard of before so that's what I'm doing here but yeah I think that's it that's all uh, I will have my Instagram link down below I put a lot of photos on there that I don't put on the YouTube world you know what I mean so definitely check that out yeah subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you want me to do more of these games there's definitely a whole bunch of card games and board games that I've seen that I would love to sh like try out and show for you guys. I think that's it. That's all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.